Hello everyone, I'm back again to my boring sessions, um, I mean, I am um, finished here, and I'm back again, why am I back again, why uh, am I, why I am back again, why I am I back, why, hold on, um, why I am back again is, I mean, I don't want to confuse anyone a bit more, but I thought it might be very useful, so, as you know, these are class A, B and C, masks and um, that's IPv4 IP addressing subnetting okay now if I say to you that was only the first step because everyone hold your breath hold your breath everyone because IPv6 wow yes that's right, IPv6 and um, Internet Protocol version 6. So, Internet Protocol version 6. Am I jumping forward? No, I'm not. Just to give you a bit of a taster, that as we are continuing with um, our concepts of IPv4 subnetting, just to let you know, to pass your uh, CCNA exam or the first part of your CCNA or Cisco's or if you are a trainee network engineer or you're planning to do network designing, you need to know IPv6. So, just a bit of a taster, I will sort of tell you that um, like in IPv4, we had class A, class B, class C, class D, class, um, I mean, A, B, C, D, E, like these classes were there. But in IPv6, everyone be happy because we got some serious addresses. So let's start with them. Uh, we have global unicast address. Global unicast. And then we have unique local address. Unique local. Uh, I hope my writing isn't getting too bad. So global unicast address, unique local address. And then we have link local address. Not to confuse you a lot. This is just a taste though. Uh, when we finished our IPv4, when we finished, oh, no, we are still doing it, I mean, yeah, so we got link local, and then we have multicast, and um, then we have modified EUI64 um, addresses, actually, yes, it can be an address type, EUI modified. So, just, just remember them in case if someone asks you in a job interview or somewhere, even if you don't know them, just having them inside your brain will save you a lot because then they will know that this person is into IPv6 addressing, he knows about IPv6 a bit. So, yes, that's another case that I'll show you what sort of address it is. And that would be amazing when you see IPv6 address because it is massive and it's really long. So, right. Uh, there's another one is, um, I mean, the, there's any cast address. Any cast. Is it not finished yet? Oh, we got one more. Uh, the one more one is actually uh, auto configuration, uh, which is quite useful. Um, configuration um, at the end of the day I'm a learner myself so I'm still learning and um, I'm not that strong at, in IPv6 but uh, I mean my point of um, showing these videos or doing these videos it not it is not just to get clicks because I uh, revise my coursework as well and it might relate to some people who are really interested 
and they want to really learn um, network concepts and um, this is what it is and um, right what else um, is needed what I'm thinking is um, shall I show you one IPv6 address I'm thinking um, I mean that would be quite confusing for you because at the moment we are doing a IPv4 series um, I, I will try to show you in the next videos um, let's start with IPv4 and then slowly slowly we'll have a taste of IPv6 as well and then we'll have NAT um, there's a lot to do so um, um, obviously OSI model video I have shared before but it's really important to understand the networking model especially OSI and um, TCP IP model so I'll be joining you in the next videos um, I mean if I have time I will make time okay bye